Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the On This Date in MLB podcast. This is episode 12. Uh, I'm the co-host, Ricky, and that's our, our other co-host, Kevin. What's up, brother? How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Cool, cool. So before we get started, um, I just want to let you guys know that you guys can also find us on Instagram. That's where our main, um, our main activity happens. We upload there multiple times a day, and the comment section is fun. So, you know, if you're watching this right now, go over there to Instagram, hit follow if you're not following already, and join the little community that we have going. We also have another YouTube channel where we post um, shorter videos, about minutes, uh, one minute to three minutes, little quick videos, just covering one fact for that specific day. We've posted every single day on that one since March 1st. So we're today we uploaded the 248th video, approaching 250, bro. Um, and I'm just telling you guys that so that you know that we don't miss a day over there either. Neither do we miss a day on Instagram. So you can always expect some activity there if you're fiending for some baseball. And lastly, hit like, subscribe out to all this shit right here that you're watching right now because um, uh, I feel like we're catching a group. So, you know, um, without further ado, brother, you want to get into this? Yeah, man, let's get into it. This is going to be like, I think we took a little two, three weeks off after we started recording after like our fourth month so this is gonna be like our seventh month uh we got consecutively recorded yeah so, uh, yeah. yeah yeah bro let's 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 get into it this first one that i chose for this week is from game six of the 85 world series i i didn't realize the impact of this call bro it was this has got to be one of the the biggest blown calls of, not just in baseball but in uh in all of sports yeah um yeah, so this is George uh, Orta gets called safe at first base by umpire Don Deckinger on the, on the close play at first base. So uh, let me know when you're ready, bro. Ready, bro. Countdown. All right. Three, two, one. Stirrups on stirrups. I love that, bro. I love that old school uniform. Small little roller to the right side. Oh. God, I'm safe, bro. It's crazy, bro. That's a tough one. <laughs> So I, I, I'm pretty sure you read a bunch of, ah, oh, look at that, old, the, old school, the old school jackets, bro, I love that. Fire. So I, I read an article, because it was pretty, pretty uh, obvious that he was, he was out on, like, on first, uh, when, when we watched it live, no? Yeah. So I, I read an article that the umpire said that he was looking at the base, but he was trying to hear for the ball that hit the glove. Mm. But because of the crowd noise, he couldn't hear the – he never heard the ball. Look at that, bro. Wow. You know what, what's kind of crazy is that you really won't hear the glove mm. on, on a little throw like that to begin and with. Especially, especially, like, not in the World Series, bro. Like, get out of here. How, how are you going to use that method for, you know? Yeah. But that's, yeah, you know, that's all these replays, take... bro. Yeah, that's, that one's a eye-opening one. But that's also not <laughs> to take away from uh, – the umpires, I'm sure, like, they pick up the sound, the glove at a different level than we do, you know? Like, they can pick it up yeah. a little bit. They're more sensitive to it. That's what I'm trying to say. But, uh, like, yeah, I don't know how you're going to hear the glove in that play. What else you got, bro? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was uh, that was one of the top uh, – the top. Uh, remember you mentioned the championship winning probability play a couple, uh, yes, couple weeks back? Yeah. So that was that was one, one of those top ten, and it was actually – uh, five of those top 10 plays were in game in that uh, bottom of the ninth in that game, game six. Oh, wow. And seven of those top plays were in game six, and five of those were in that same inning, bro. So that, that's pretty crazy. The Cardinals were three outs from the title, and their winning expectancy was 82% before, uh, before that at bat in the ninth inning. So they, they were robbed by the, they were robbed of the World Series by the, by the umpire, bro. And bro. he, um, he umpired, go ahead, go ahead, sorry about no, that. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, keep going, keep going, you're on so the he, he, he umpired in the uh, minor league starting in 1960, so he wasn't a rookie, you know, mm-hmm. and he was actually, he was actually the crew chief of that umpiring staff in the 85 oh, World Series, <laughs> and he, he met with the commissioner after the game, he saw the replay, and that's when he explained, you know, what, what kind of method he was using that day. Yeah. So, so you know, it forced the game seven. And the Royals blew out the Cardinals 11-0 in that, in that game seven to win. And that was their first World Series title for the Royals, right? Yeah. Up until uh, recently, 2015, I think. Yeah. 
So that that kind of changed history for a little bit. You know, the, the Royals would have never got their first uh, first ring. And George Brett, I don't think would have ever had a ring as either. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Um, you know how how that yeah. how, like how that play uh, kind of changed changed the course of history like that. Bro, um, I like how you brought up that uh, five. What you said, like like five of those top plays. Five of those top plays. Yeah, I had a hard time that. explaining that, but yeah, the, the, <laughs> how the impact of that inning, that play caused other high impact plays in that yeah. same inning, bro. Like, yeah, and uh, obviously, like that play, it, it's a very unique play, right? But what yeah. I'm trying to say is that, like, in another game six of a different World Series, there's also going to be top plays, right? But what right. I'm trying to get at is that, like, it. It shows how pivotal like game six truly is, bro. Yeah, like yeah. whoever wins game six, is, like unless um because to go to win game six and force the game seven, that means you were down three two, huh? Exactly. Yeah. So damn that bro, that's like you, you're, you're hijacking you're right. momentum. You're right. It's like the the Bill Buckner play, right? The one under the glove, mm-hmm. the the Mets won game six and they went on to win game seven. You know, they they it's crazy, and, and we'll, I think we'll get into it with the next one, too. It was another yeah. crazy game six. So um, uh, I I just got one little quote from go ahead. from Orta. Um, all he, from what I found read in this little piece, he said, I remember that play. He's like, yeah, you do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the angle he called the play was tough, and then that, that did right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, funny. you know, you're gonna take it, right? You're gonna take yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, if it's for for the benefit of your team, you'll, you'll take it. Yeah. So, um, just real quick, bro. The Cardinals in 1985, they won 101 games. They only lost mm-hmm. 61. They finished first in the NL East. Um, they won the NLCS over the Dodgers, and they lost the World Series, obviously, to the Royals. You got Manager, well, <laughs> they didn't lose. <laughs> 101 wins, bro. Um, Whitey Herzog was their manager, and uh, the guy that led in RBI that year was Tom Hurt with 110 from the team, um, who led the team in RBI. That's what I'm trying to say. The OPS leader of that team was Jack Clark, 895. He also led with OPS plus 895, age 29. Um, and surprisingly, bro, the 2000, the 1985 Cardinals, um, their leading home run hitter was Jack Clark, and he only had 22. Damn. So, yeah, bro. But they, they, had had, ten, uh, they had 10 less wins than the Cardinals did, man. They had 91 wins. Yeah, bro. That's wild, bro. And real quick, the yeah, like 91 wins. Dick Hauser was their manager. Um, their home run leader, they had two in 30, and a 30 home run mark, George Brett and Steve Balboni. 36 for Balboni, 30 for Brett. Their OPS leader was Brett. Um, well, I wonder what Brett was that year. If he was like a, yeah, for sure an all star. He finished second in MVP that year, bro. So you know yeah, damn eight, well he, eight, he wanted that ring. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, bro. 8.3 war. Yeah, wow, bro. I just realized that looking at these numbers gold glove, silver slugger. Yeah, he had 335 that year. He finished twice. Not bad. Two times he finished second in MVP voting. So and was, that was uh that was the most home runs he ever hit in a season. He had 30 that year. Yeah, that's very true, bro. That's very true. But um yeah, that's just uh to highlight something some of the some of the players in from those teams. So um it's crazy how uh instant replay would have would have changed all that in the in the instant, right? Bro, instantly, bro. Like what, it was what, uh uh-huh. one more thing I want to throw at you, bro. So yeah. in game seven, game seven, uh that umpire Dankinger, the yeah. the guy who, who made the call at first, mm-hmm. he was behind the plate. He was behind the plate for, for game seven. So you know that Carlos Bench was, was talking they were chirping. talking all night, yeah. Yeah, they were chirping. But uh, you know, they also had to play nice, bro, because <laughs> they try well, to get some of those calls. Well, I I did read that that uh Herzog got Whitey Herzog, the Cardinal manager, he got ejected in the fifth for Ooh. for arguing balls and strikes. So, I mean, I know they got blown out 11-0. It probably wasn't making a difference at that point. But, in the, yeah, they, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure they still felt cheated in, in that, that last game, you know? Well, um, let me see real quick, bro. I want to see um, what the box score was up until that fifth inning. 
Let's see if they scored six runs in the fifth inning, bro. The Royals. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. I mean, <laughs> hey, bro. So, knowing what we know now, though, doesn't it, don't you get like the curiosity to go want to go watch this game in full, bro? Yeah, Just to see how like the dynamics were yeah. behind home plate. Um, yeah. That's wild, bro. That's that's a good one. I didn't know he had moved over to to a home plate for a game seven. That's, well, that's just a rotation, you know. That's just how it works. You just have yeah. to, to break down that way. Yeah, makes that's sense. Crazy. Makes sense. Yeah. Great, um, greatest, greatest phone call <laughs> of all time, bro. Yeah. So, for you ready for the second one, bro? Yes, sir. All right. So this is a uh, game six of the 2011 World Series. Uh, it happened. October 27th, 2011. And it's uh, the game between the Cardinals and Rangers. Um, this includes that infamous... David, David Freeze game. Yeah, but <laughs> the infamous Nelly Cruz game. So, okay, know... we, before, we get in, before we get into that, uh, was, uh -huh. that a catchable, was that a catchable ball? Because there was a couple of guys on the IG, on the IG post, they commented... Uh -huh. Uh, catchable ball, uh, should have made that catch, uh, a couple of things like that, you know? Um, probably took a bad route, bro. Like, yeah. um, hopefully we can see better, different angles right now. Maybe a better outfielder catches that, huh? Yeah, but, and then that makes you, maybe I can just put that down real quick. Uh, I don't know. We'll see right now, but I'm trying to see, like, oh, maybe it makes you want to think about who they had on the bench. Um, oh, that's right. There just so right. you know, like, because... At that point, bro, because we we haven't started the video, but Kevin and I are both looking at the screen. It's bottom nine, two out. It's like it's just you give up your offense for defense, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, and, of course. Yeah. So I wonder who they have right. on the bench. Um, I mess with it. Yeah. All right, brother, are you ready? Yeah, let's get into it. All right, three, two, one. But yeah, that David Freeze game, bro, and not not, not trying to do too one, much. One one strike away. That's incredible, bro. As I got when you're going to the wall, bro. Like at what point do you decide? Yeah, I'm gonna commit, or I should play it off the wall. Damn! And then you know, see Beltre, bro, so close to a ring. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Tell me why Larusa's laugh is like evil right there. <laughs> and the dead center for the win. Yeah, Ooh. that guy has, did not hesitate to go get that ball. You, I love how they're able to get the ball like that, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At at that point you just gotta know that the Cardinals were gonna win the the ring that year, right? Yeah, it goes it back to this. what we just spoke about. Game six, the the how much momentum that just takes away. Yeah. It's it's crazy to think about, bro. So um Unreal. At this point, bro, and it's and it's oh man, I thought we were gonna maybe see that Nelly Cruz one. Anyway, uh Nelly was uh 30, 30 years old. I'm going to just kind of talk more a little bit about his, his defense. Um, okay. And uh, and maybe we'll see. We'll see what you got. Um, but it's not it's not much. Just a little bit of defense that I wanted to talk about. Uh, he's 30 years old. He had a um, an 821 OPS that year, bro. So, you know, he was he was smashing. But um, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the UZR stat, bro, ultimate zone rating. I've I've heard about it, but I'm not too uh, too. Uh, okay, too so real real quick, bro. Um, this calculates the effect each player has in several important defensive categories, including outfield arm runs, double play runs, range runs, and error runs. It is still used today. Um, sorry, these are just some of my notes that I took from it when I okay. when they talked about how it was invented. It's used today as one of the most accurate measures of a player's defensive ability. It is much more telling than fielding percentage. Uh, the average for UZR is zero. Nelly okay. Cruz's UZR that year was negative 6.4. And just for, for reference, bro, wow. the, the top UZRs in 2011, um, give me one second. Uh, number one was Gardner with 26.1, his, his ultimate zone rating. Just okay. to get an idea. Um, Ian Kinsler, who was on that Rangers team, his was 16. He was at third. Uh, Dutch and Pedroia was at second with 18.1. Mm -hmm. I skipped Pedroia because I saw Kinsler. Um, and so on, bro. Like, it just goes on. Like, um, there's names like David DeJesus, Alexi Ramirez, 
Brandon Phillips, Adrian Beltre, 11.3 that year, one of the most incredible defensive players of all time. Do you see, just real quick, bro, do you see David yeah. Murphy anywhere on there? David Murphy? David Murphy. Nah, but you want me to just get his real he quick? Was, he was on the bench, bro. He was okay. on the bench. Okay. I just looked it up while you were talking. No, you're good. You're good. And, uh, and you. let, me, let, me, let me throw this at you, bro. So they actually removed Nelson Cruz. They they pinch it from Nelson Cruz later in the game. I want to say, bro. Damn. Oh, uh, I mean, David Murphy's was negative four point four. So you know, you I guess uh, you can so kind of. I don't understand that. I guess yeah. this was also twenty eleven. Obviously, it was probably being used, but it, <clears throat> now you're seeing more statistics being um, um, adopted by different league by different uh teams you know maybe okay. they they didn't really like look into these types of things back then who's to know i'm not saying they didn't you know but um so they yeah they yeah they they uh nelson cruz was removed in the in the game in the, in, to start the 11th inning oh, Damn. My God, <laughs> and you know why they removed them they said for defense <laughs> yeah <laughs> for murphy L little late there bro for um, murphy yeah, so hold on. Uh, it's because they made a bunch of moves, bro. I'm trying to understand what the hell happened. So um, no, it looks like Murphy entered the game earlier than that. But in the eleventh inning, Mark Lowe replaced Nelson Cruz pitching and batting six. Esteban Herman moved from pinch hitter to left field, and David Murphy moved from left to right. So there was a couple mm -hmm. moves there. Uh, David Murphy and Esteban Herman was the uh, was the guy on the bench. It's but weird, David bro. Murphy, David Murphy also started the game on the bench, though, so that's why I'm kind of confused. Oh, okay. So yeah. just touching back, the last last little thought I want to talk about Nelly Cruz's defense. It's weird, bro, because he debuted in 2005. From 2005 to 2010, his UZR was um, 2.5 or higher. And in 2009 and 2010, it was 2009 was 8.6. 2010 was 10.1. So that's like up there, bro. Yeah, and then, decent, right? Or above yeah. decent. Above yeah, wait, well, yeah, average is zero, you know? And, yeah, yeah. And so, so you would say elite is Gardner. More, 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 than, more, than, more than acceptable, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Above. And then after that, bro, they all turn into negative figures. Negative 6.2 in 2011, negative 4.3. At the worst timing, huh? Yeah, I wonder if that correlates with injuries, but, you know, we don't want to get too deep into it. But um, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, so that that was one crazy at bat, right? The David Fries one with uh, two outs, two strikes in the ninth. Mm -hmm. But the the one that that just makes me laugh even more is uh, when Lance Berkman tied it in the what was it, the ninth? Mm -hmm. No, the the tenth. Excuse me, because Josh Hamilton actually gave him a two run lead in the top of the tenth. And same <laughs> same thing, same shit again, bro. Bottom of the tenth with two strikes. Uh, Lance Berkman hits a two RBI single. So, oh, you're it was, so right. it was just the just the baseball guys were you know they they had it scripted that way I guess right. So, Damn. yeah, and and that 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 Texas team lost to the world to the Giants the previous year. So they they were their back to back uh, World Series. They had Josh Hamilton on that team. Uh, I was Andrews, Michael Young, Beltre, bro. I, I Beltre did Bel Beltre never won a ring, huh? Nah, bro. Uh, that one hurts. Yeah, he was right there. He was one, one strike away, man. That's got to suck. Such an incredible career, bro. Yeah, um, and just just the last nugget for you. Uh, St. Louis became the first team ever to overcome two two-run deficits in the ninth inning or later in a World Series elimination game. Wow. Just, yeah, just um, not going to lose that game. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, oh, can you hear that, the sirens? No, you're good. Oh. Perfect. And this is not this was not all for me to just talk shit on Nelly Cruz. Um he actually won the ALCS MVP that year. So he was a big yeah. reason they were in that World Series. All right. Um it just you know sometimes tough breaks are very happen at the worst moments. <laughs> yeah, wrong <laughs> place, wrong time. <laughs> oh, that's so tough. <laughs> so for the last one we got this week is uh this one's a change it up this time. It's a game seven. 1991 World Series. This is from October 27th as well. 
Uh, Jack Morris is uh, he goes out there and puts the team on his back, bro. This is one of those old old school uh, performances. Probably we won't get to witness ever again, right? Mm. Yeah, no, we won't. Uh, let me know you're ready, bro. All right, count down, bro. All right, three, two, one. So he he goes uh he throws a ten inning shutout in Game Seven. Probably you know the the biggest stage in baseball, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, ten innings, bro. Like, I wonder if that was a discussion when he went back into the dugout if he was coming out. Mm, probably, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I I don't know uh, the validity of a, of a story that I read. Uh, I read that and because he he ran into trouble in the eighth inning and. Uh, I forget the manager's name, Tom Kelly. Yeah, Tom Kelly was. He visited the mound and that uh, Jack Morris kind of told him, if, if you try to pull me from this game, I'm, I'm going to kill you, you know? like, like uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, don't don't even think about it, you know? <laughs> That's a good one. Um, he has a, like, kind of like a, a funky delivery, huh? Yeah. Like, he comes yeah. in, like, into his body and then it's just, but his location is immaculate, bro. So the he was had, not moving. He uh, scattered seven hits, eight Ks, two walks, 126 pitches, mm. 79 strikes, 47 balls, 14 ground balls, and 14 fly balls. So, you know, they're kind of putting the ball in play and uh, just making his defense work. But uh, the, the reason why I chose this is just because I, I love that old school mentality. You know, you're, you're going to have to rip this ball away from my dead body to get me off this, off this mound, you know? Yeah. And especially with the way analytics is now, like, you're not going to see a 10 inning complete game in the World Series. No. You, probably, you probably won't even see that in the regular season, you know? Hey, yeah, bro. I mean, just to touch up a little bit on that before you get back into your stuff. Um, yesterday, the I know we're going to talk about it right now, the World Series, but Javier threw a no-hitter and they pulled his ass. After six, and, right? Yeah, yeah, he was no-hitting. I didn't, I don't, not too familiar with his pitch count, but, you know, yeah, like, we're not gonna see that shit anymore, bro. And that's just like a, even, uh-huh. even if even if you don't talk about pitch counts, just like the third time around the the batting lineup, they they don't want to do that. You know, they don't want to yeah. they don't want to expose the pitches to to the lineup a third time. So, yeah, like I think it's a safe bet to say we'll never see that shit again, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So, in ninety one, he I looked at his postseason stats. His um. He did win. He won both games in the ALCS, mm-hmm. but um, he had a four four five ERA, um, thirteen okay. innings, allowed seventeen hits over those thirteen innings. But he dialed it in for the World Series. He um, mm-hmm. he pitched three games, twenty three innings, um, fifteen strikeouts, one point one seven four WHIP, and a one point one seven um, ERA. So it's kind of crazy because. Even though like the ERA is pretty high for the for the ALCS, like he still mustered out a win for them, you know, like uh, so it just goes to show like that workhorse kind of um stamina type shit. Like it he was probably like in some games giving them innings, you know, two that's about six innings per game. Yeah, bro. And uh, so he made he made three starts at World Series, right? Mhm. Mhm. Oh, he was he was a MVP, World Series MVP. Yeah. 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 But it, it's just crazy because he um. He that means three... he. Uh-huh. Go 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 ahead, my bad. No, just just thinking out loud. That means two two of those starts had to be like on short rest, right? If you if you pitch three the, times. Yeah, bro. Yeah. What, what were you gonna say though? Just um, the the mindset, bro, that he had to have had from. Kind of having like a, I guess, mediocre ALCS. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm not yeah, not yeah. being disrespectful. You know, like hard. One of the hardest things to do in the world is you know play a professional sport, but then you just turn around and see the numbers he put up for the World Series. Like there's something that shifted in his mind, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just turned it on. Yeah, use it as a as a momentum. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm seeing right here too, bro. He won in uh. He won in '84 with Detroit, and he was incredible that postseason. Like those numbers are jaw dropping. And he's got three rings, like uh, like Bumgarner. <laughs> that's wild. With, with, with three different teams, that's gotta be cool. That's that's gotta be 
unique, right? A, a picture with. And he got the second, the third one the next year, bro. Oh, that's that's right. like on some, that's like on some Jock Peterson. Yeah. Because uh, because Peterson went with the Dodgers and then he went with the Braves. Yeah. 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 And he, it, I didn't realize Morris was was so old in this one, thirty six and ninety one. Oh gee, bro, putting it yeah. down, bro, putting it down. You, you know, you know, he had some miles on his arm by that point. He was still, mm -hmm. he was still, a, still a gamer like that, bro. Hell yeah, still a dog. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just one comment I wanted to read. Uh, from, from uh, the IG post. Yeah, Juan, Juan Stubbs. He said, uh, I'm a Braves fan, but man, you have to take your hat off to Morris. What, what a performance. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love it when uh, fans of other teams can, can you know, uh, put their pride aside and just recognize the beauty of a sport. Yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. <clears throat> um, so one last thing I just wanted to add, bro. He, Morris had the number one and the number three. He was involved in the... He had the, the in game seven. It was the eighth inning. The, game, the score was tied, right? Mm -hmm. Eight zero zero, one out. Yeah. Um, and he got Sid Bream to ground into a double play. Um, and yeah, that's right. the highest rated play of the whole World Series that nice. year. Uh, nice. Twenty eight point seven five W W C W P A. That was that was that eighth inning where I told you the the mound visit was where where he ran into trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. That's um these charts are crazy to look at. <laughs> bro, so so look at that. I think we're looking at the same page right now. So eight of those top ten top ten uh championship winning probability plays, eight eight of those plays were in game seven. It's it's crazy, bro. Like such uh, a high high leverage, high intensity game, right? Yeah. And I wonder, bro, like now that we're using this pivotal um this this kind of step to like look at plays i wonder like if we're ever going to run into um like we yeah we'll be talking about a game seven but we see a play from like game two you know like i wonder that's, if that's even possible that's, you know that's kind of what i have that's kind of what i have for you a little later on the last the last play we're going to break down on the okay. last segment uh, okay. i have something for you on that one cool so a little, um, little foreshadow <laughs> So yeah, I, shout out to Jack Morris, bro. Um, uh, just real quick, pitcher. He hits right. He threw from the right. He stood six foot three at one ninety five. Born May sixteenth, nineteen fifty five. Currently, he's age seven, sixty seven. Born in Saint Paul, uh, Minnesota. He attended Highland Park High School in Saint Paul. Uh, he attended Brigham Young Brigham 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 Young <laughs> University. In Provo, Utah, made his debut July 26, 1977, at age 22. Played, a, played his last game August 7th, 1994. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2018. And um, five-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, and a World Series MVP under his belt. I wonder if I wonder if I wonder if you ask him which which uh, World Series is his favorite. That that's got to be his favorite one, right? The Twins. Yeah, bro. Because that's like. I'd, that's his hometown. I didn't, I didn't realize he was born there. That's that's. I'm pretty sure he was a Twins fan growing up, right? He had to be. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, to just put the team on your back, like, you, as you gotta look back and you got balls of steel, bro. Oh yeah. So, no. uh, you have something else? No, just just wondering because he was born in '55. When did the Twins? When did the Twins become a franchise? Um. Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh yeah he had to be oh well there were the washington senators before they became the twins in 61 yeah so he had to have been a twins fan yeah uh, that's pretty that's pretty cool man winning winning a world series with your home team for sure for sure <clears throat> yeah bro sorry i got sidetracked <laughs> no bro that's cool I, I like that you brought that up because i read his bio and i didn't even think about it <clears throat> so yeah that, that is pretty he's probably a legend down there bro uh, well, I guess they're a legend. Have, they have to buy a drink anywhere down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So uh, <laughs> do you want to take us into the news, brother? Yeah, so the, the first news topic we got this week is just a World Series update. Just uh, kind of see where we're at right now. 
Uh, tied, like we mentioned before, we had that perfect, uh, no, not a perfect game, hell no. Uh, combined a no hitter in game four <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it's tied at two games apiece now. Uh, so now it's a best of three series, right? Um, the rain postponed game three, pushing pushing the schedule back a day, which kind of helped the Phillies, I think, because they they were able to, they were able to start Nola in that game yesterday, even though they, they ended up losing. Mm-hmm. But uh, so yeah, so now they're traveling tomorrow. Game five is today, Thursday. Game five is tomorrow. I mean, they travel tomorrow and. Uh, Game six and possible game seven is on Sunday. Uh, Not sure how you feel about a game seven on a Sunday, but I'm not a fan, bro. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I think the first game we talked about, the Orta play, that was on a Sunday too. No. I think this Jack Morris one was on a Sunday. I don't know. One of those two. I don't like Uh, that. (laughs) Yeah. um, So, where's my notes? Where's my notes? Uh, so yeah, just real quick on on my end, uh, I, I my, thought game one was a game one was a thriller, bro. I thought game, game one was pivotal for the Phillies. Mm-hmm. Uh, game two was that uh, Framber Valdez game, six point one innings of work, and Altuve had a three for four game. Uh, then game three was I thought it was interesting with those five uh, five home runs by the Phillies and their Phillies pen. I, I was amazing that game. Wrote four scoreless innings, uh, two hits, two walks. And then again, we just mentioned yesterday the combined no hitter. I, I thought that was pretty cool, but I, I don't know about you, bro. I'm not a fan of combined no hitters. Not not just to talk smack on the Astros. Yeah, but uh, no. uh, it takes away from the from the combined from the no hitter uh, specialtyness. You know, it leaves a little bitter taste in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. right. It's like, ah, yeah, I guess it's a no hitter, bro. <laughs> like, like who, 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 who who gets a game ball that day? You know, like yeah, <laughs> for real. Um. Yeah, because then it's all kinds of guys. And then you don't celebrate the same. Um, One of the – now that we're talking about that, um, one of the – one of the – one of the videos I just seen – I'm sorry, I'm over here drawing a blank. One of the videos I seen recently was um, Roy Halladay's NLDS no-hitter in in, in game one. That's a (laughs) no-hitter. Yeah, and I'll – RIP to Roy Holiday, the doc. Um, the only sure. reason I was looking at it was because I was like, just um, he's gonna he's gonna be his uh his anniversary date is coming up um, next That's week, right. and um and so I was just um when I, when I found that out, I was just looking at videos and pictures, and I was just looking at his performances. But um, like that, like they celebrated, bro, like to the like to the top, bro, with that. <laughs> and you you could only imagine, bro, like if it was a no hitter by one pitcher. In the World Series, like that would have been like, yeah. Plus, like the the difficulty the pitcher has to go through the third time through the order, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To get yeah. that shit on his own, bro. You already faced him twice. Like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do this time around? You know. And that's not to say that Javier wouldn't have done it alone, bro. Um, he did do the same thing with the Yankees, right? They they combined no hit the Yankees as well. And Javier, yeah. I believe, was the starter of that game. Yeah, during the during the regular season though. Yeah. 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 Through the regular season. Um but yeah, bro, those those Harper Harper is hitting some bombs, bro. And um there I don't know if you saw it, bro. I think John Boy Media put up a picture, but that Harper home run, I believe it was game three. Yeah. Game three. Um well yeah, because that, that's yeah, they got yeah, shut yeah. out yesterday. <laughs> the the Citizens Bank Park um noise it it um it made it made activity on the richter scale oh, oh shit no yeah, i didn't see that that's, yeah that's, bro that's pretty fucking cool man yeah bro so yeah, um, yeah that's cool and one of the top i went into the comment section real quick and i saw um they said oh they say baseball's dead but um i don't see any other sport i don't see football or basketball causing earthquakes like <laughs> so it was um that's- that's that's amazing, man. That's cool. It I, really I like is. That. It really is. Um, <clears throat> um, what else you got, brother, for this? Um, just there's one thing, one stat, or one fact that that's surprising for me, and I'm pretty sure it is for you. And and he's pitching again today is Verlander. Mm-hmm. He's never won. He's never won a World Series game, bro. Yeah, you texted me that. You texted I texted me you that, that day. Like I I I didn't know that. I didn't find that out until after Game One. After they they lit him up a little bit, you know. 
So yeah. he's eight, eight games started in the World Series. Uh, this is just World Series, not not playoffs, right? Because he's had some good starts in the playoffs. Um, 0 and 6 with a 6.07 ERA, 32 runs in 43 innings, 41 hits, 16 walks. So just how do you explain that, bro? That's yeah, for real, bro. Um, and then, like I said, he's pitching today, so you would think like, all right, he's he's due for a he's due for a seven inning, you know, ten strikeout performance, something like that, right? But <laughs> We'll see how he reacts with that. So, that sometimes crowd. just, yeah, bro. That, I, I like that you mentioned about the Philly crowd, bro, because it, it's an open air stadium, right? And in Houston, they I know they like to use that as for their advantage when, when they close the dome and they use that crowd noise, right? Because there's nowhere for that noise to go. Mm-hmm. So, that, that, that thing that's, that's so fucking cool about that Philly stadium, bro, the Philly noise, the, the crowd noise. Yeah. Yeah, because you, uh, you gotta you gotta believe that motivates the the team. Well, I I don't know what percentage you put it to that, but it's, it's got to be there. Yeah. So um, I was looking at <clears throat> the Phillies hitters, um, and their can you guess who their their best their best hitter is right now as far as OPS? As far as OPS, I would say Harper. It's it's actually Brandon Marsh, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He has a 10 AVs, three hits, three runs, one double, one home run, one RBI, one walk. Um, yeah, I was tripping out on that, bro. Harper does have that one home run. But uh, obviously, these are small sample sizes, bro. But, you know, yeah. I guess that double puts him over. I don't even I don't even think he started the team with the Phillies, the season with the Phillies, no, did he? He started the, the year with the Angels. Yeah. Yeah, he was in mid season. Turn of events, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <He's laughs> <friend, right? laughs> I'll take it, bro. Yeah. Pretty sure he'd rather be there than on vacation right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, you know, the Philly crowd will be next level. This is their last game to yeah. let it all out. And I was this close, bro, to having my game five prediction. I was, I was going to tell you, bro. I was going to tell you, you, you would have made some money. You would have made some money in Vegas with that bet, bro. I was, I was like a lot, too. Yeah, yeah bro. bro. I was hoping, but once I seen that these guys were um, obvious something else, bro. I seen a, a picture, and it showed the, the pitching mound he was practicing on and in 2020, and it was like just dirt, bro. So I'll see if I can find it and send it to you. But it's just that guy's good, bro. That guy's really good. That whole Astro staff, bro. The whole, yeah. the whole development team. Where do they find it? Everything. Guys, everything is good. <laughs> yeah, they're so good, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so that's that's all I got on that on the the update for the World Series, bro. We'll see what Game Five uh, has has for in store for us tonight, right? Yeah. Who do you have taking it? I I still got the Phillies, bro. I still the I still Phillies the Phillies. tonight. Yeah, I got the Phillies tonight, and just uh, the game, just tonight's game. Okay, just tonight's game. Yeah, I don't, I don't see Verlander pulling pulling a rabbit out of his uh, out of his hand, changing his luck. So yeah, what's what's this gonna be the score? Uh, I got like a six-two, comfortable oh, okay. win, easy easy win for the Phillies today. You know, not nothing intense. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Uh I'll say seven-five, bro. I okay. think it's gonna get crazy at the end. Okay. I do think Syndergaard's gonna show out though. Another guy. Me too, bro. I I, I, I think she's <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. That's the angel, the, 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 the world series, bro. Angel, the angels financing a playoff team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Funny, but uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, Syndergaard. I, I can see Syndergaard going like a good five six innings of, of shutout yeah. ball, bro. Yeah, he's a beast, bro. He's a beast. Yeah, People will forget. Thor. Or bro, yeah, yeah. So, so um, bro, the the next news topic I had for you, bro. Uh, I, I don't know if you saw this. I we I saw a, a bunch of videos going around on uh on Instagram. Mm-hmm. The Jason Dominguez ABS challenge system. Yeah, I I thought it was pretty cool, bro. Now, um, real quick, automated ball strike is what ABS. ABS oh, for, I had right? no idea what it stood for, bro. Thank no. you. No, you're welcome. That, that way, anybody that's watching too, you know, that way they know yeah. off the rip. So yeah, that's what it stands for. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. So it's a, it's only like a minute video. I don't know if you'll be able to add it to the to the video here for us, bro. Okay. Um, g- give me one second. And um, <clears throat> oh, shit. 
because it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's an article it's an article it's not on uh, i'm pretty sure you'll find it on youtube bro yeah but i i didn't i didn't give you the link that's why I, that's you're why good I, you're good I had it. but uh I'll make so basically right now basically uh jason dominguez challenged a strike call in the arizona fall league mm-hmm. and he was he was successful um the clip is only a minute long but the actual time from when the pitch was called the ball i mean a strike and from when the ruling was overturned, it was only like 12, 15 seconds, bro. Wow. So wow, it was, it was, bro. It was, it was quick. Uh, it actually, and I, I rewatched the video a couple of times because I wanted to, to have the seconds down right. And it took longer for Dominguez to take off his shin guard and jog down to first than it, than it actually took <laughs> to, to get the call fixed, you know? So it's and these it's, motherfuckers. It's not yeah, <laughs> it's a player. <laughs> 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 so, so it was pretty clear, bro. It was pretty cool, and they show the the home plate system on the big board on the TV on the stadium, and uh, it's it's pretty quick, uh, pretty quick process. And I and I think it's, I think it'll help the game. I actually I, I retract that statement, bro. I'm at a crossroads. Yeah. I'm at a crossroads because I I I'm all for getting the call right, um, and kind of kind of like that World Series call that that terrible blown call. Yeah. Like that's a good situation for it, right? They, they would have saved the game, we would have changed the, the history of the game. Mm-hmm. And on this one, on this one, I, I like it too, but I'll also explain why I don't like it. Cause uh so this one it, the challenge came in the seventh inning of a tie game with the runner on first and no outs. Okay. With the three one with the three one count, right? Mm-hmm. So the umpire called it a strike, so that makes it a three two count. The what's not to say the next ball he grounds it to a double play. Okay, the, yeah. the the next guy strikes out. You go into the bottom half of the inning. That team hits a home run. Now you're losing two to one. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying that... it's be- I'm not saying it's because of that call, but okay. So now this guy's on first and second. You got no outs, and maybe you can mount a rally here. You know, like that's gonna happen, bro. That's gonna happen, right? It's gonna like, happen. And- so if you're the batter, I agree. I agree. Like let's get it right. Give me my give me my my walk, and let's get this rally going, right? Yeah. But as a as a pitcher, bro, like if you're really gonna get, you're gonna start. We're gonna start nickel and diming little inches off a of plate when I've been dealing all game, or yeah. you got you got to get a little benefit call, right? Like a little. I'm not saying hey, it's gonna take away. I'm, yeah, I'm not saying three inches off the of plate, but uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I because we we pitched a couple, right? We pitched a few in our in our days, but uh, uh, I don't know, bro. It's gonna make it tougher for the pitchers, right? Yeah, bro. Um. Yeah, because the the only thing of that is that when that does happen, because it will bro in that situation you explained. I love that you brought that up. Is that you can't at that point it can't be like what if anymore. Huh? Yeah, it's like this is what's gonna like it's this is what it is. Um. But I mean, it's all in the name of getting the the play right. I do understand the the pitcher dealing and you know getting a little benefit here and there. Cause I do, I, I do love, I do love the, the um, the human element, bro. I love like exactly. when an umpire misses, misses yeah. the call, and then the next inning they get it, you know, they get it back. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, bro, we're even now. Cool. I got you. Yeah, I yeah. Like yeah. I'll you. Yeah. Like, I like that shit, bro. We're we're humans, bro. We're we're not robots, you know. Like, you're gonna bro, you're gonna mess up a call every now and again, but. Bro, but, and is baseball the only sport? Where there a referee is looking at like it's like every specific thing that like because I'm tripping, bro. Like everything gets called, bro. Everything Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and baseball is the only one like that, right? Where because football you have plays happening and they're just happening or whatever. But like I'm I'm not sure I'm understanding your question. uh, I'm trying to like um. Yeah, I wish were, the umpire, were, the, um, were the umpire rules on every play? They have a ruling on every play? Yeah, like, damn near everything. Anything that happens, bro. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I, yeah, because in I'm the just, NBA, I, in the NBA, it, you can have a somebody score or whatever and no fouls or whatever, and then they go back and they score again, and they can keep going, right? I I, I see and what you're saying, they, where, where they have a ruling on every play. You're right, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they, right. He's either he's either out, he's either safe. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I understand what you're saying. I understand. Yeah. On everything, right? On everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day, bro, and I was tripping, bro, because I was also like, 
going back to Harper, and I don't want to dig too deep because um, we are at the 45 minute mark. But when he hit that home run, bro, uh, in game three, or that well, whenever he had that big home run, right? Right. Yeah. Um, I was watching videos from the stand, like from fans or whatever, okay. and I was thinking like. Um, when a player in baseball has their moment or whatever, like they're up to bat, like they're all, we're only cheering one person on, bro. We want the whole team yeah. to win, right? But like, I just thought about like the immense pressure, bro, and like how like like you're constantly saying like, "Let's go, Harper! Come on, bro! You got this, bro!" Like you're encouraging you know, them, bro. Like, but like for like any other sport, like yeah, like the ball gets thrown to the receiver and you, he catches it dope, like, but you don't know that the receiver's going to get the ball until, like, it's going toward him, right? Or yeah, you don't know yeah. if in basketball the guy's going to shoot until the play develops and you see, oh, like, they're going to go to him to shoot. But for, like, there's, you know who's shooting, I, bro. I, I, I think I think what you're trying to say is that there's nowhere for them to hide in baseball. There's, yeah, like, yeah. You're, you're going to get your turn. You're going to have to bat. Like, in basketball, you not might get, you know, you – you you might not get the ball, you know, might not have yeah. to shoot that 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 game winning shot. You might not have to be put in that yeah. situation. Yeah. But in baseball, so, yeah, bro, there's there's nowhere for you to hide. You're gonna have to trip out, yeah. Either put up, put up or, or shut up, right? Like yeah, yeah, that's 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 a good point, bro. Yeah, I was, I, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Um <clears throat> uh, we went off topic, bro, because they got a little carried away. <laughs> but, but yeah, I I I I do like that. I I, I think I, I'm a fan of that system, bro. So they're they're trying it out in uh, the minor leagues in the mm-hmm. Arizona Fall League right now. Uh it's not slated to be implemented in MLB anytime soon at the major league level, I mean. Yeah. But uh yeah, bro, we'll we'll see what the future has in store for us on, on that aspect, right? Yeah. Well, only time will tell, bro. But, uh, yes, sir. These things are in the horizon, bro. Technology, brother. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, what's just, the uh, just, one, just 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 one more thing on that, bro? Yes, I know, I know, we want to cut it cut it off here soon, but uh, you're good. Uh, last week, I just remembered. I saw IG post. One of the umpires had a perfect game. The home plate umpire. Oh, he had a perfect yes. game calling the strikes. He he, everything that was in the zone, he called it right, and everything uh-huh. that was outside the zone, he he called it right. You know, so what's his name, bro? I have no idea, bro. That's why I kind of I, I was in between I got whether I wanted to say it or not. Pat Pat, Pat Holberger. Shout out to that guy, bro. Yeah, bro. So, I did see so, that know, too. There's there's no need to uh, you know remove umpires from the scene when when they're still doing a good job. Some of them <laughs> out there, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, bro, like this. They, I don't want to get rid of the umpires, bro. I no, like that no, shit, bro. No, you, I like need, you need, you need the human element, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. You I like can't it. just because yeah. it, it, even if the play gets reversed or whatever, bro, the excitement is, you know, like instead of just stopping and waiting for a robot to tell you, it's like, nah, bro, that's like, that's that's what I was gonna say. That they kind of I. Because I started watching hockey, right? So they mm-hmm. kind of what they do where they kind of let sometimes they'll let the play develop, and if 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 they have to call it back, they call it back, you know? Yeah. So uh, yeah, bro, that's that's all I have on that one. Let's get into the last segment here. Yes, sir. So we don't drag on too long here. Uh, mm-hmm. The 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 play that I wanted to break down for the week is uh, the Nick Castellanos catch that saved game one. Yeah. I. I, I think this was the, the biggest play of the game. Uh, baseball reference doesn't agree with me. <laughs> kind, of, kind of what we were mentioning er, earlier, the, the yeah. championship winning probability plays. Uh, obviously, the number one is the, the JT Ramuto uh, home run. That's that's actually the biggest play of the series uh, so far, up to uh, up to game five today. Okay. But I, I think this play has got to be up there, bro. Like, especially the Phillies that go end up winning this World Series. <clears throat> Yeah, if this if this ball lands, the, the Astros win Game One, right? Like, yeah, J, J, and, JT JT Romero doesn't get that at bat. Yeah, and it, the narrative turns into, well, here go the Astros. Yeah, and then, you know it's just so you want to count down and we'll watch it. Yeah, bro. So, uh, three, two, one. Is that Jeremy Pena, the beast? Yeah, that's Pena, bro. Hey, do, do you get like some young A Rod A Rod vibes, like A Rod yeah. Seattle vibes when you watch? Them? Or is that just me? No, yeah, I do, bro. Go to blooper. Sliding catch, bro. I wonder what the probability of that catch. 
I Green tried finding was... I tried finding it, but I couldn't, bro. I I, I think those stats were only available like in when during the game is live. Oh okay, that's some stat stat cast, huh? That's more stat yeah. cast. Yeah, yeah. So so Schwarber and Castellanos are supposed to be defensive liabilities, bro, for the Phillies. And you know the defense is supposed to be in favor of, of Houston. So that I, I, that kind of just highlights the the importance of this play, you know, like. Castellanos was not supposed to catch this ball. <laughs> and right around, right around here, the the 56 second mark. Yeah, look, here's the angle, bro. So he, perfect read, bro. He was yeah, first great step, jump. First step was in and ran hard towards the ball and made the catch, bro. You know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, here's a home run now for JT. And his swing is just so like to the point, you know, not trying to do too much, just putting bat on the ball. And that was such a good at bat too, bro. It was a full count. I don't know if you mm-hmm. remember that at bat, but it was it was more than six, seven pitches, bro. So that was, that was uh, another another clutch clutch play on his behalf. Yeah, look at how lit they are, bro. <laughs> oh, that's that kid that went viral, huh? Yeah. Did you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how close was Tucker, bro, to catching? Yeah, this bro. Shit? Just inches. Baseball's a game of inches, right? Yeah, yeah. What a play! And then after after the game, I don't know if you saw the the interview that Castellanos had with uh, Ken Rosenthal, mm-hmm. where he kind of mentioned. I'm not sure if he should have mentioned it or not. Like it's okay to think that way, but I don't know if you should have said it out loud. He said that uh, a lot of time I have a trouble keeping focus every day nine innings in the regular season, but with the postseason, the baseball is incredible, and you don't have a choice but to be locked in. So. <laughs> I have some focus issues, bro. Like, what, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get distracted, bro. Oh, my goodness, like, bro. Maybe you shouldn't say that out loud, brother. Just... Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure that's, like, like over there in the fucking... Yeah, it, that's something among um, players. It happens to every, bro. Everyone, yeah. bro. I, day, I daydream at work all, all, all the time, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, bro. I, I, I don't run up and tell anybody. <laughs> Doing some important ass shit in your daydream. <laughs> Exactly, bro. So, uh, but yeah, I, I just, uh, I, I, I was just impressed with that play by Castellanos because, uh, yeah. the you know, one, one, one step back and, and he doesn't catch that ball, right? Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, um, but I, as an outfielder, they, I think one of the biggest things they tell you is, you know, your first step has to be back because mm-hmm. you, you don't want that ball to hit over your head, right? You rather have that yeah. ball land, land in front of you. Yeah. For sure, but, to keep but in this single, exactly. But in this situation, you, you that ball can't land, bro. If that ball lands, you, you lose the game, right? Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> this is gonna lead into my um my um the next point I want to make. Um, can you guess his UZR? You want to throw a number out there for ultimate zone rating? Uh, so if if Cruz our boy Cruz, zero. If, if our boy zero. Cruz, yeah, if our boy Cruz is at four, negative four for that twenty eleven season, right? He was negative six, I believe. Negative six. I'll put Castellanos like a negative, uh, negative two point five, negative three. Hey, QZR this year is negative seven point two. Dang. No. <laughs> so trip out, bro, because like this leads into my next point. These numbers are great, bro, but they don't always. They're not always right, bro. Like okay, like Cruz technically was a better defender, right, that year. Right. But he didn't make that play. No. And Castellanos <laughs> definitely the right. worst defender this year amongst them two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He makes the play, bro. Probably the biggest mm-hmm. catch of his career, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. Although I know he had a couple other nice ones after these uh, in game one or two, in game two or three. Um, but it just shows, bro, that like, yeah, the numbers are great, bro. They're awesome to reference. But sometimes you just got to watch the game, bro, and feel the momentum and see how, how all that shit plays out, you know? Wow, that's crazy, bro. I'm yeah. uh, I'm I'm gonna start looking into that stat, bro. That's, 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 it's a that's, fun one, bro. It's a fun yeah. one. <laughs> it's a fun one. But um, yeah, that was a great play, bro. You got anything else you want to add? That's that's it I got for that one, bro. Cool. So that was cool, bro. I, I like the the plays we broke down. Um, by next the next episode, of the World Series will be over. And we will officially be into the off season, so we'll see what we can cook up for everybody as far as um news and you know um we'll we'll be moving some things. We'll 
we'll be um, having some different segments going forward and yeah like, we'll get cre- we'll get creative with the yeah know. yeah yeah for sure and um it's gonna be fun this off season we're gonna have a lot of fun and um it just has me looking forward to the next season bro that's it you know? yeah, yeah. yeah uh, so real quick um do you want to add anything before i tell everybody where they can find us uh no nah, just uh excited to see what what kind of what kind of rest of the kind of games this world series will have for us you know kind of shaping into a, another classic one for us yeah yeah so um yeah to anybody that's watching thank you guys i'm sure kevin feels the same way we appreciate you guys to the fullest um if you got to this 55 minute mark um thank you and you can find us on instagram that's where we post every single day multiple times a day it's usually more than four posts a day on a good day we do about 12 um Every day we post there. The comment sections are lit. Go join the comments. And, you know, we may not reply <laughs> or like them all because it gets a little out of hand sometimes. Go ahead, one, one thing I do want to say, brother, on, on those IG posts, uh, take it easy on us, guys. I, I know we make mistakes every now and again. <laughs> we try, try to be perfect, but uh, we make mistakes, guys. So uh, Yeah, a little typo yeah. here and there. Yeah, yeah, we'll try to fix things when we, when we catch them. In, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. thanks, 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 thanks for uh, thanks for calling us out on those. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's for fun, sure. man. It's fun. Yeah, um, shout out to the people that help us fix the typos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whether it's in, in good nature or not, you know. I I, I love it, bro, because that means people are, are reading and they're and yeah. they're, they're interacting with us. No, so I I love it. Yeah. No, yeah, no so, offense, no offense taken. I, I just think it's none. funny. So, some yeah, none things, taken. Uh, and, you know, we the way we, Kevin and I grew up, we have pretty <laughs> thick skin. So like I yeah. I highly doubt anything that happens on the internet can um really shift us or, or move us from our foundation because we know what we're here to do. We know what um what our mission is. And that's um just to make this sport fucking dope for everybody and share our perspective. So yeah, find us on Instagram, join the comments there. Um we reply when we can. We pin the funny ones and if you comment, sometimes we include it in here if we read it. Yes, um, so yeah. Um, follow us on the other YouTube channel, which will be linked below. The Instagram will be linked below as well. Um, right there, we post once a day. We have over 200 and 220 videos are up, uploaded. We're at 248 right now to be exact. 250 is coming up. Um, we post there one or two, one to three minute videos. Um, and daily. Yeah, daily. Every single day since March 1st. We have not missed a day. So, you know, we, we are consistent with that over there. And you can always catch a, a one fact there and um hit subscribe hit like um, share this show show this to anybody bro because um yeah we're just trying to uh, make our own little lane in this baseball world uh, so yeah without further ado bro let's uh, sign off uh it was nice kicking in with you guys we'll see you guys next time peace